We've all heard that old adage, when given, you need to give back. Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. Our next guest does just that, and he's helping out with young kids that have inspiring minds. His name is T.A. Barron, and of course, he's a best-selling author, millions of books in publication. He's joining us, and he's giving out the T.A. Barron Prize to some young kids right now. T.A., welcome. Hello. Hello. Hi. Well, Mr. Barron, this is one of your favorite times of year, isn't it? You hit that right. It's my happiest time of year. It really is. And uh, except maybe cross country skiing with my kids ar around Christmas time. But um, I am so lucky because I get to see these wonderful kids like Rhiannon and, and Madison who have won the Baron Prize. And the whole prize really is about one idea, which is that every kid from anywhere, whatever background, description, whatever, every kid can make a difference. And you hear about these stories of the kids who win the Baron Prize and you realize, whoa, yeah, it can really happen. I definitely can and these ladies definitely deserve it. Now ladies, how did you first hear about the prize? One of our mentors um, who's from California, uh, who we've worked with for the past couple of years, um, just he had heard about it, I think he had, you know, I don't know if he had heard about, uh, heard about it on the news or read about it online, but he told us about it and he, he asked us actually if he could nominate uh, us for this award. To, of course we said yes um, and so it was really his great work that allowed us to to win this award and be here today well girls I know you grew up with it what do you think of his series called the magic Merlin they're definitely great and a lot of fun to read and I think they all have great messages and that is that you know youth can can change the world and even in real life I mean that's not a real story but I think that he has inspired kids all across the country through this award to find an issue that they're passionate about and to and to make a difference because they can change the world well, there's no doubt about it, it's created some real life magic. So tell us a little bit more about the message. Our, our message to other youth would just be to find something that you're passionate about and don't be afraid to follow that. Um, all youth, regardless of who they are, have the ability to change the world. I'm curious, you gotta tell us more about the project that won the award. We began a project back in 2007 to earn a Girl Scout Bronze Award and we wanted to research about the endangered orangutan and we discovered that they're endangered because um, palm oil plantations are um, the result of clearing the rainforest. They're building these palm oil plantations on what used to be their habitat and so palm oil is an ingredient used in a variety of um, cookies and candy bars and cosmetics and we started this project for a Girl Scout Award and we were shocked to find out that Girl Scout cookies contain palm oil. And so we've been working to show Girl Scouts USA that Girl Scouts and cookie consumers all across the country want to see the ingredient changed. Wow, I had no idea, but is there a good substitute? Um, we believe that possibly a canola oil blend. Um, there's definitely oils that are available that could be U.S. grown and would be healthy that could be used as an alternative. Well, one thing's for sure, T.A., you've got to be so impressed sitting next to these young minds. I'm totally impressed and humbled, let me tell you. Um, the the prize brings forward these wonderful stories of kids from every possible background and you know it, the truth is and I say this as a dad it's really easy to be depressed or upset about the state of the world these days but every time I hear about kids like Rhiannon and Madison or the other kids who win the Baron Prize it renews my hope it's amazing to see these wonderful kids from every possible description who are rolling up their sleeves not because they want to be uh, big names or famous but because they just simply want to help and they're doing it how can we get connected best support your efforts well, let me just say that the efforts really aren't mine. All I did was create this little mechanism to turn the spotlight on these wonderful kids. The kids are really the heroes here. And, but what you can do is go to baronprize.org, um, which is B-A-R-R-O-N-P-R-I-Z-E, -R -R -E, and click on Meet the Winners if you want to read about these wonderful kids like Madison and Rhiannon and, and read their stories and feel like you can imagine other kids making a difference and share their stories or if you know a young person between 8 and 18 and think that they should be nominated for the prize um, just click on nominate and adults who know a young person who's done something amazing can nominate them too. The, we recognize 25 kids a year and the top 10 get a scholarship of $2,500 that they can apply to their education or to their service project. Well, in closing, we want to thank you guys for your time, but given all your success, and Madison, we'll start with you, given all your success, what advice would you give to others living out their dreams? 
I would say look up to your hero. Look up to that one person who took something that they cared about and they never give up. I, we started this project back in 2007. We were little seventh graders and we never gave up. We found something that we cared about. This is an issue that is it's global, it's, it's happening all the way in Indonesia, but people on, in the U.S. have the ability to make consumer choices, to purchase things with palm oil or to not to, and then to explain to food companies the choices that they're making. I would just urge you know, youth all across America to find whatever you care about because that's what's worth fighting for and that they can really make a difference. Awesome, Rihanna? I don't know if I can follow that one. Um, I would just say with passion and perseverance, you can accomplish anything, and I would remind really everyone, not just youth, that they do have the ability to change the world. And so don't let some factor limit you. You always have a voice and don't be afraid to speak out. And Mr. Barron, last words. I would just say that if you're a young person, know that y you have power. You can make a difference. Think about what you love, what you care about, and, and then apply your great energy to doing something to help. Ladies, congratulations on this great award and TA for providing it for these young minds and keep on writing because we sure enjoy it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. See, when given, one must give back and TA Barron's a great example of that in helping those young minds. I love that story. We've got another great one when we connect with you when we come back. Thank you so much for watching. Are you tired of negative news? We are. And that's why we're creating a movement. By keeping it real. With what you need to know. It's more than what's happening. It's bringing hope back to our lives. So go to contv.com and join our movement.